Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Hsu. In this video, I'm going to talk about upgrading to Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6. This video applies whether you're upgrading from Lightroom 5 or from a previous version. Now before we get to Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6, I'd recommend that if you still have your old version of Lightroom installed, that you open it up and get some information first. I'm here in Lightroom 5. Now if you're on a PC, you'll go up to Edit in the menu bar. On a Mac, you'll go to Lightroom, and then down to Catalog Settings. Here on the General tab, Lightroom tells us where our catalog folder is and what the name of the catalog file is. I would strongly encourage you to write down this location and the name of your catalog file just in case Lightroom CC or Lightroom 6 doesn't find your old catalog. So mine's in a folder called Main Lightroom 5 Catalog in my Pictures folder, and the file is called the same thing, .lrcat. Next, go ahead and hit OK or close out of this dialog. Now let me talk briefly about installing the program, though I'm not actually going to go through the process because there are too many different scenarios, different operating systems, and subscription and perpetual versions. Now if you're already a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can install Lightroom CC by opening your Creative Cloud app. On a PC, if you're not sure where the app is, you can hit your Start button, search for it, and then click on the application to launch it. On a Mac, you can go to Applications, or it might be in your dock. I actually have a shortcut up here in my taskbar to open it up. Now in this application on the Apps tab, you should see Lightroom CC 2015. You can simply click to install it. It should be a very smooth process. If you're not a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can purchase a subscription to the Creative Cloud Photography Program, which is Lightroom and Photoshop, on Adobe.com, and then download and use this Creative Cloud app to access your software. Now, for those of you not subscribing, but instead purchasing the standalone upgrade, while this will be on Adobe.com, I expect, it most likely will not be easy to find since Adobe is emphasizing the subscription. You may find it easier on Amazon or B&H. So you'll purchase the upgrade and then download the file and run the installation wizard. Now, if you're not sure where your downloaded file is, it's most likely in your Downloads folder, which is in your User folder and then your Name folder. Mine would be in Users, Laura, Downloads. Double-click on that file to run it, or put your DVD in if you got one, and let it run the installation wizard. Now the one thing that's changed from prior versions is that during the installation process, you'll have to log in using an Adobe ID. If you don't have one, you'll see a link to create one. Now let's look at how to find the program so you can launch it. This might not be as easy as you would expect, or at least it isn't with the early version that I'm shooting this video with. Here on a Mac, down in my dock, I would click on Finder, and then up in the menu bar, I'll go to my Applications. Notice here in my Applications that I have Photoshop Lightroom 5 and then Adobe Lightroom. I don't see Lightroom CC or Lightroom 6. So this Adobe Lightroom is the new version. Mine happens to be a folder. I'm not sure if yours will be, but if you click on it and it has contents, then you can click on the actual program file and double click to run it. You could also drag this out to your desktop to create a shortcut or drag it to your dock to have it down there. Really, I wanted to call your attention to the fact that, that it doesn't have the version in the name. I installed the PC version today, and it did put a shortcut on the desktop, but it also does not have the version. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click to launch Lightroom CC or Lightroom 6. Most of you will see an upgrade dialog. Lightroom has found our old catalog and wants us to upgrade it. That's good news. The process is going well. Now I've switched over to this other scenario for a moment. I'll get back to the upgrade dialog. What if Lightroom didn't prompt you to upgrade your catalog, and you open Lightroom and you get a blank catalog? Now before you actually see that it's blank, you might see a Lightroom mobile message on top that you can just close. But in this case, Lightroom couldn't find your old catalog, or it got confused as to which one to open, so it created a new blank catalog for you. 
the first thing I do is make sure you understand where this new blank catalog is so you can delete it once you get up and running. You'll go to Edit on the PC or Lightroom on the Mac, down to Catalog Settings, and on the General tab, and make a note of the folder and the file name. And then go ahead and close this dialog. To open your Lightroom 5 or earlier catalog, you'll need to go up to File, Open Catalog, and navigate in this dialog to the folder that you wrote down at the beginning of this video, and then the LRCAT file itself. You'll select the LRCAT file, and then you'll click on Open. Once you do this, you should see the Upgrade dialog. Now when you upgrade a catalog, it's not going to overwrite your old catalog, which is good. If something went wrong, you could still revert to your old catalog. It'll make a copy of it and upgrade that copy for use with Lightroom CC or 6. It's going to go in the same folder as my Lightroom 5 catalog, and in my case, it's going to have the name of my Lightroom 5 catalog, dash 2. I don't like this name or the folder that it's in. If that's the case for you, I'll show you how to change it later. Now, if Lightroom found a catalog that you're not interested in upgrading, and you know where you have a different catalog, you can choose a different catalog here. Let's go ahead and click on Upgrade. So Lightroom first introduces us to Lightroom Mobile, which is the app for mobile devices, and asks us if we want the feature turned on here on our desktop so that photos can be synced to our mobile devices. If you're already using it, go ahead and leave it on, but if you're not really familiar with it at this point, I would suggest turning it off. Click Continue. Now if you want to turn syncing on, you can just click on the Identity Plate and choose to sync with Lightroom Mobile. But that, of course, is outside the scope of this video. Now at this point, you should see all of your photos. If you have any developed presets, for example, they should have transferred over seamlessly as well. Same with any copyright and contact information or metadata presets. Now let's take a look at how to rename your catalog if you're not happy with what it's called or what folder it's in. First, on a Mac, go up to Lightroom, and on a PC, you would go to Edit, and then down to Catalog Settings, and again, we see where this catalog is. Mine's the dash 2. Make at least a mental note of what this upgraded catalog is called, and then we're going to click on the Show button, because that will jump us out to Windows Explorer or Mac Finder with this folder highlighted. I'll click on Show, and then I'm going to ignore this window that came up, and immediately go Close Lightroom. It's really important that Lightroom be closed while we're renaming its catalog. I'll make this window a little bit wider, and I'm going to rename the catalog by single-clicking in its name, and then I'm just going to change this to, say, Lightroom 6 Catalog. You could name yours Lightroom Catalog, you could put the version in it, whatever makes sense to you, and then I'm going to hit Enter. Now, when I change the LRCAT file, it's important to change the Previews file as well. So I'm going to select that and then very slowly single click so that I get the ability to rename. And then I'm going to rename the beginning of this. Now I want to have the exact same name I have in the LRCAT file and then Space Previews at the end. Once I've done that, I can hit Enter or Return. I see now that I've got an extra space up here in my catalog name. Now in this folder, I have my Lightroom 5 catalog and my Lightroom 6 catalog. That's fine, but my folder name is not descriptive anymore. So I'm going to rename my folder as well. I'll just call it Main Lightroom Catalog, and I'll hit Enter. Now at this point, I could also move this folder somewhere else, onto an external hard drive, for example. Once you've done that and you're ready to launch Lightroom, you'll want to launch it by double-clicking on the LRCAT file here in Finder or Windows Explorer. Because Lightroom doesn't know we changed the name of its catalog, we can't just go out to the icon and double-click on it. So double-click on the LRCAT file. Lightroom 6 will open up with this renamed catalog. And then we just have one more step to go, and that's to tell Lightroom to always open with this catalog. For that, we'll go up to Lightroom on a Mac or edit on a PC, and then down to Preferences. On the General tab, under Default Catalog, I'm going to explicitly choose the Lightroom 6 Catalog. Next, you can hit OK or close this dialog. 
Now if you're upgrading straight from Lightroom 1, 2, or 3, I want to show you one upgrade issue that you're going to see. I'm going to scroll down here to a photo that came straight from Lightroom 3, so I haven't touched it since. I'll go to the Develop module, and you'll see that we have the old Lightroom 3 sliders here in the Basic panel. So Lightroom 4, 5, and 6 have a new set of sliders but we're not seeing it for this photo that came from Lightroom 3. To access the new ones, I have to click on this lightning bolt to update what's called the process version. Now on my blog, you can search for an article discussing process version that will tell you when, if, and how to update the process version. There's some nuances to this, so you'll probably want to read that article. I'll click on Update, though, and you'll see that, that we have the new sliders here for this particular photo. Now, the next thing I would do would be to work with Lightroom for a while. You should see all your photos here. They should have all of your work. You really shouldn't have any issues. Once you're comfortable that everything went well, the next step would be to delete your old Lightroom catalog and uninstall your old Lightroom software. So at the beginning of the video, you wrote down the location of that catalog. In the folder you wrote down, you can delete both the LRCAD file and the previews file. Next, it's time to start having some fun with the new features in Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6, including panorama stitching, HDR merge, face tagging, and more. I'm Laura Shue.